Now I have to be weary of time. I just arrived at Roller Mills. I have two hours less than I had anticipated, really like an hour and a half less. I'm 150 miles from where I need to be. I have my live sale tonight, or I guess it was yesterday technically, or I don't know what day, I'm all mixed up. Time has not been on my side recently. I am still looking for stuff for my uh, live sales as well as my Etsy shop. I am gonna try and pack in as many places as I can, but I do have to be back uh, into the DC area way sooner than I had anticipated. I've just been kind of a goofy mess, but let's go in and see what they got. I've already been tipped off that one of the vendors I buy from has a major sale going on. Oh, I'm obsessed with this pearlized glazed bank. Dang, it is so cracked. That is such a shame. It's also $50. All right. I found such fantastic stuff in this case. The last time I was up here, they still have those Valentine's Day planters. They're just a little too close for me. And that, oh my gosh, look at that salt and pepper shaker set. That's fantastic. And they still have that beautiful ballerina uh, dancer dish and oh my gosh those freaking enamel pins are only ten dollars each which is a really good price and that big eyed cat is huge good grief it's usually like half the size of that oh. man i'm like really into that okay but alas let me move on it's not it's not worth it there are a lot of booths that are 50 percent off it's kind of making me wonder if there's a reason. I'm obsessed with this table, of course. $60. That is really fantastic. I don't need it, though. What is this? Spain bird. Huh. It's kind of cool. It's only five dollars, I guess. Uh, wonder. Can't really make out the Estelle Arter. Yes, it's by Estelle Arter, and it's very neat. And since it's only five dollars, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up and put it in the live sale tonight, or I guess when this aired. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I try not to do that, but um, like I said, I'm. I'm way far behind. I'm not usually this behind. Let's see what else we can find over here. There's no discount here. I don't know why I thought there was gonna be a discount here. Why is this only $9? I don't know. I don't know why this is only $9, but we're definitely gonna pick this up. And then all the wall pockets are only $5. Huh, this one's kind of neat. Yeah, the prices happening right now are really good. Um, this one's only $5, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one up too. Let's see. Glass baskets have not really been my thing. $25 is definitely a pass on that. Let's see what else they got. Ooh, oh my gosh, I almost ran into something behind me. What is that? Well, <laughs> I almost ran into this little Odajiri. Is this Odajiri? I think it's Odajiri. I could be mistaken. Um, bank, it's definitely on the newer side though, and I don't like that it shows the glue. This is very cute. This uh, sugar and creamer, it's missing the lid and it's got a little bit of a crack. Look at this Art Deco dancer tray, that is very neat, but $18 is definitely more than I'd like to spend on it. Hmm. I feel like I could still make some money off of it though. What about what's going on over here? This is quite pretty. How much is that? $12, that seems really cheap. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why the prices are so well. $18 is fair for that too, but more than I'd like to spend. Um, I have such a random array of items right now. This is kind of a fun wall pocket too. This one's only $5. I think I'll get that one and put it in my Etsy. <laughs> Look at the plants, plastic Santa face. These usually sell really well, Hong Kong. And it is only $7, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. It's definitely easy to ship too. 
I got so excited and then so upset because I saw that this was $5. And now I see it says as is. I'm guessing uh, what says is about it. Looks like it's got a chip out of uh, the side there. Very cool though. And I'm really into this trivet. I think it's really pretty. This tea set's kind of neat too. What is going on over here? Hmm. Whoa, what's this? That is so cute. I know it's new, but I like the hanging plants with the cat there. Yeah, I'm seeing a few things I like that are uh, reproductions of things that are older. Hummingbird box. This looks like a reprop. It is. Ooh, St. Patrick's Day. Rompo, $8.50. That's pretty cheap. Um, let's see what else they got in here. Oh, this is where I found that fantastic rabbit blow mold last time. Look at this crazy great egg. Whoa, and that silver toned basket. That's amazing. Man, there's all kinds of cool stuff in here. Cute little picks. Hmm. Whoa, look at this. That is really pretty. 45. Oof. I'm just now seeing they have 20% off, but even with uh, that, that's too much for me. But these flamingo trays, how cool are they? $28. 19. So $14. For four. Very cool. Whoa, flamingos over there too. I mean not. There's like stuff everywhere. Hold on. Alright. Florida salt and pepper shakers. Six dollars and fifty cents. And those are Japan. I'm gonna go ahead and grab those. Especially with the 50% off. What about the monkeys? How wild. Those look newer. Let's see, how new are they? Huh, actually not what I thought. It's really kind of cool, $6. Let me, uh, I'm gonna look that up right quick. I'm kind of curious, just for my own. Caldoon and Bogle. Yeah, $6, that's a great deal for those. I'm gonna go ahead and grab them. And then the random lion. Head creamer, that's pretty neat. It's more than I'd like to spend on that though. I was about to head upstairs when I saw this fantastic vinyl plush rabbit. $18. He's so fantastic. Oof. I don't know if I can justify 18. I could definitely make money off of it. Oh my gosh, it's got a little hard nose. That is too stinking cute. It's ridiculous. It's in good condition too. Let me go upstairs right quick. All right, well, this definitely stood out to me. $14, that's a totally fair price. Um, a little bit more than I'd like to spend. I think I'm gonna go upstairs here. All right, well, time has caught up to me. It's, a, it's about that time that I told myself I'd leave and I'd still have to go downstairs and look at the, uh, the little booth that I backed out of because of the uh, ruckus, we'll say. I did decide that $25 for those lucite flowers were, it's a good deal. It's just a little too much than I'd like to spend, honestly. It just, it doesn't leave enough room for me to be uh, excited about it. What's this? Nope. Okay, but also this purse is fantastic. Oh my gosh. How fun is that? 25. I don't think I could do much with that for resale, but if it was for myself, I'd scoop that up for sure. So it is unfortunately that time that I said that I would uh, head out. So I'm going to take one last look and excuse me, I'm going to take one last look at this booth here and head out. I will see you guys in a second here. My honest assessment is that I see a lot of stuff that I want to get excited about, but I'm just not feeling it. So, the good news is I've still got more places to go. 
Um, of course, I didn't finish over here either. Hold on. This side is not 50% off, but still, they have really good prices. How much is this Lovebirds planter? $4.50? Well, that's a great price. We're going to have to get that chip. Dang. It's a little chip, but still chip. Not bad at all. I'm right on track. I only spent $76 in there. Uh, I normally go up to Silver Moon after this, but I'm going to switch it up since I'm like short of time. I have a bad feeling I'm going to get uh, lost at street of, street of shops and get sidetracked. So I'm going to go there next. I'll see you guys when I get there.